everyone, my name is Lovestar. Welcome back to my favorite Core Let's Play. Today is a very important day because we are adopting children. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> okay, so I know that sounds really weird, but one of you guys left me a comment saying that I should adopt that kid that I saw in the last episode, Eric, who was the son of Alexander, who as, you, as we all know, passed away. And Alexander actually had two kids and it's Grover and Eric. So I thought it would be actually really sweet for me to adopt these children and give them, you know, a place to live, um, a family. They can hang out with my, uh, with my mushroom girls and all of my other girls. So I'm going to adopt these two kids today and I guess we're just gonna see how that goes. Um, so let's see. Do you really want to be my parent? Yes. This is the happiest day of my life, yay! <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me adopt Eric too, there we go. Is this real? I can't even, I love you both so much. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so I'm going to, can I pick them both up at the same time? Why are their voices so deep? Oh no, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Okay, let's go take them home. So, yeah, I know this is a really weird, really weird way to start the episode, but I wanted to, you know, give you guys something interesting to uh, uh, see in the very beginning because this is not the only different thing about this series from now on. Uh, if you may have noticed, I don't know if you guys can tell, honestly, but um, I actually got a new PC! Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna explode from happiness. I got a new PC, I built it with, um, with my family members, and yeah, so it was my first time ever, like, building a PC, um, but I am just so happy because it is so, so much faster than my old setup, which was a gaming laptop. And, you know, <laughs> there's only so much that those gaming laptops can do. But yeah, so now I have... How do I make them stay? Oh wait, they're already staying. So yeah, anyway, now I have a really nice rig and everything is just so smooth. The FPS is super good and I'm even using um, a new shader pack, which is um, complimentary Unbound, which is so cool. I love the shader pack. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because I usually use solders. Um, but for now, I'm just going to try it out since I can. It was basically unrunnable on my old P on my old laptop. Uh, I could only use it for like screenshots because it was just so laggy. But yeah, so now we're using um, a new shader pack and I'm running the recording on way better quality um, resolution. So hopefully everything looks a lot better and smoother and cleaner to you guys. But yeah, so we have two kids now and I don't know what to do with you guys. Um, do I need to feed them? I don't think I need to feed them. I can make them work. Uh, I don't think I should do that, but maybe I can give them a gift. Hi. So are you guys like allergic to anything? Hi. Okay, I don't think they are. Uh, let me give them some food because they're probably hungry. So I'm going to give them a baked potato. Hello. So let's gift this to you. Okay, it seems like Eric likes it and there you go. Okay, so they like the, the potato. I'm also going to give them some soup. Hi. Awesome. They like it. Good. They are way more grateful than other villagers. <laughs> Probably because they're kids. But yeah, welcome to the family, uh, Grover and Eric. Um, I should probably give them a place to actually, like, stay. Um, I was kind of thinking of making some sort of fence. Not like a fence, but some sort of, like, wall or barrier around the vicinity here out of leaves. Uh, just to create a little bit of more security within our main area of the house. Uh, I want it to still be open with a lot of entryways. We could have like little gates and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's one of, one of the things I've been considering trying to do because, well, we need, we need to be more protected, especially now that we have two kids, uh, which is, I, I can't even believe I'm saying that. <laughs> this is so insane. But yeah, so we do have these two kids to take care of now. So I might have to do that. I might have to make a little leaf fence thing. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited, guys. This is like so much, <laughs> this is so much nicer to actually record now that I have like a good frame rate. Like you have no idea how many <laughs> compromises I had to make um, to try to 
you know, make the recording look good while also like running shaders and not making everything too laggy. It was it was quite a challenge to get it to work, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna clear clear clear, eh. <laughs> clear my inventory and we can uh, start on something else because today we are doing something really exciting. Uh, besides adopting children, we are going to be doing a magic mod. And if you if you already know what I mean, we're gonna be doing some Ars Nouveau today. Yes. Uh, by the way, I didn't work on the uh, the sugarcane farm just yet. It's still very uh, barren inside, so I didn't really change anything just yet. Um, but let me see if anything grew. I don't think it did, because I, I wasn't- Oh, wow, it was. <sighs> Damn, okay, we actually did get- Oh, we did get quite a bit of sugarcane, which is awesome. So we can make some books today. But yeah, so what I wanted to do today was work on Ars Nouveau, finally! Because one of my um, subscribers, and well now I consider them a friend, <laughs> uh, Strababi. Shout out to Strababi for teaching me how to do Ars Nouveau spell making. And also to Ariane, because Ariane did help me as well. So thank you to both of you for helping me out with Ars Nouveau, because I was so lost. I did not know how to even start with that mod. I'll, all I knew was that I had to make make um that spell book which i already think i have it right i think it's in um the the tower so we can go grab it but yeah so what i wanted to do was actually work on our magic area place next to the tower and the twilight forest portal and we can start doing some magic so we're gonna have to make like i think it's an altar or no like it was a some sort of table scribing table or something so we can make um different types of spells which is so cool. Like, dude, this mod is actually insane. Wait till you guys see what kind of spells we're going to make. Because I'm going to make some pretty awesome ones. Alright, so do I have the book yet? I do. Alright, cool. So, we have our Nova spell book. Which doesn't do anything right now. Because, of course, we don't have any spells. Hi, chicken! Oh, he's actually giving me eggs. Thank you. Alright, so, yeah. We are going to use the spell book. And, you know, since we're going to be doing Arch Nouveau, I'm just going to use... I'm going to grab the War Notebook. And we can... Utilize it if I need any extra help, but I think I have the basic premise down as long as I can remember everything This was already a few days ago, so we'll see how good my memory is, but oh my gosh guys Look at how pretty this is dude Complimentary is so pretty This is probably like one of my favorite um, shader packs ever. I love Sildur's vibrant shader So it's always gonna be like a classic but I just want- ah! I wanted to show you guys just how pretty everything looks. Um, but you guys let me know if you want me to continue using Sildur's. Uh, I can, because honestly, I think Sildur's works really well for this series. Because it's very vibrant and pretty, and it runs really well. I think it's honestly one of the best optimized shader packs in general. Um, so it's always been my go-to, because it looks really beautiful. It's very um, well made, and it doesn't have any, like... Uh, issues or like bugs or anything that's too super noticeable and it's also pretty good on my performance at least for me personally but I've I've used <laughs> I've used it in all of my different PCs and everything but yeah anyway enough about that let's actually start working on our magic area and look there's a dry it over there <laughs> okay so I think what we're going to do is make a little pathway right so we have this path we can continue it and go down here. This looks like the most natural place to uh, to make it. And this place is very, very beautiful. And then up here is the uh, portal, right? Yay! Okay, so actually everything kind of connects perfectly if we just build right here. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, let's get rid of some of these tall grass. I really don't like it. Ugh. Tall grass. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm also using OBS to record this. I usually... Uh, I used a different setup on my previous setup, <laughs> on my previous uh, computer. So the audio might be a little bit weird or different. I hope it's going to be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of testing it out. So please excuse any hiccups um, for this first video. Because this is my first recording after my upgrade. So we'll see how everything goes. Hopefully everything goes okay. But yeah, I'm so excited. Um, let's first, I think what we're gonna do today is start off with the, the wall. Make a little bit of a green wall for these boys so they don't die. Cause I don't want anything to hurt them. So I might put them in my bedroom just for now. And then we can also... <sighs> I don't want to use these hakaranda tree leaves because they are very 
glitchy. And if I, if I summon a bunch of Hakaranda trees, they're gonna be ridiculous to cut down. So I'm just gonna use green. And it'll, you know, it'll match better. So I'm gonna make them follow me. And let's go to my bedroom. And you guys can sleep in there, okay? They really do look like brothers, don't they? <laughs> but they don't look like their parents. Like, I think Alexander was married to Aline, right? And Aline, I don't remember her being, like, dark-skinned or anything. So I don't even know how they got these genes, but at least they look like each other. So they're gonna stay in here for now, okay? So you guys can stay. Alright, so... Let's continue. Uh, we're gonna have to cut down some trees with shears. Oops. So let me see. Okay, I have one. I'm gonna see if I have any, um, and another pair in my storage room. But yeah, also, I just remembered we went to the- we killed the freaking Naga last episode. I, like, completely forgot. Um, so I need to put that stuff away. We have the trophy, which- can we place this? We can. Okay, but we're gonna have to use this for- uh, the future bosses, but for now we can just leave it there, honestly. So, uh, let's go sleep first because I don't want to die. <laughs> um, okay. I also learned a little bit about the Feywild mod, um, from the same people. Or Strababi mostly helped me with the Feywild mod, so that was pretty awesome. I can't wait to do that. We actually, um, we need to do, like, a little summoning ritual to summon a Fey, or a Pixie, or whatever they're called, and then we can do quests. So, I'm really excited because I love quests, and I think the summoning ritual is really awesome. So, yeah, let's do that another time, though. I want to focus on Ars Nouveau first, because we're still kind of doing the Twilight Forest at the moment. So, I want to get that done, or at least a little bit more progress. So, let's go climb on top of these trees. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I added a few things after the last episode to the cow pen. So I added these trees, and I also made some wind chimes. So we have some glass wind chimes, or wind bells here. They make a little bit of noise. Not not that much noise, honestly. They're very pretty, but they, uh, they're they not very loud. And I didn't bring any, any wheat. I need to feed my cows so we can start getting some more leather. But yeah, I'm just so happy today, guys. This is like... Something I've been needing to already do for so long is get a freaking upgrade <laughs> because recording on my old setup was really hard and uh, my computer was definitely, definitely complaining just a little bit, uh, waiting to be put into retirement. But now I have a way better computer, so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell my laptop or not, but I might just keep it for like, you know, laptop uses. Uh, which is a little silly because it's it's literally a gaming laptop and now I don't need to use it for gaming. But you know what? It's okay because sometimes you want to play Minecraft on the go. <laughs> but yeah, the, the the difference in in like quality um, or just how well everything runs compared to like my last setup and this one is just insane. Like I was actually blown away. I wasn't expecting it to be actually so good. But yeah, I'm just so happy. And I actually, I was planning for uh, before... I got this uh, build uh, before I built this PC. I was planning on just buying a pre-built because I was like, you know what, man? I don't really know how to build PCs. I'm just gonna chalk up like a few, <laughs> few thousands <laughs> and <laughs> invest in a new PC uh, because I really, I really needed something, right? Uh, but then I got offered some help to actually build one, and it turned out to be way better than the one I was gonna buy. And you know, it's just a good experience to actually build your own thing, build your own PC, and I actually learned a lot about how PCs work. I didn't really know much about them beforehand, like, I was like, okay, I mean, I know there's like a, you know, a thingy thing and a thingy thing, and then they do this, but now I really know a lot more, which is pretty awesome, so I guess it was a good learning experience. And yeah, sorry for the, <laughs> for the nerd talk, if you guys don't even care about PCs that much. Um, but I just really wanted to mention it because, you know, that was kind of what I spent the entire day yesterday doing. I was just working... Oh, wait, why is this not... Oh, maybe it's because I cut down the trees. No! Why you no cut? Why you no cut? Oh, man, I shouldn't have... Okay, you know what? It's fine. We can do it the old-fashioned way. No! Okay, <laughs> wait. But yeah, as I was saying, I literally spent the entire day yesterday working on that PC. We had a lot of issues. There was issues with, um, well, first we had to, uh, there was like three different things that happened that was kind of a pain. 
Um, one of them was an issue with the graphics card. Uh, seems to be a faulty cable. One time the CPU fan wasn't turning on, which was also a faulty thing, which was the power supply actually. So yeah, a lot of issues. And then there was one with um, the actual Windows installation, which is like, whoa, <laughs> what the heck? But yeah, we all figured it out, so it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm concerned, why is this tree not cutting down? Oh, there we go. Okay, I think it's just because I cut down the leaves. Okay, this one, it's just a bare tree. But yeah, I hope the audio is okay for you guys because um, I usually use um, just the default recording software that comes with um, Windows. Um, but it seems like it's a little bit uh, different with um, my new computer because I'm using Windows 11 now. I was using Windows 10 before and it seems to be like picking up way too much. It was like way too sensitive. So I I tried to use OBS's, uh, um, you know, everything, audio and recording setup. So hopefully it's okay. Um, I don't really know, <laughs> but I guess we'll find out. But I'm pretty excited. All right, so I'm gonna cut down some of the sugar cane and then we can start working on the wall. Okay, I should probably harvest all of this stuff, but my inventory is quite full right now, so we can do that later. But I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see, how are we gonna do this? So um, we're probably gonna use the trees as kind of like the connector of the wall. So I'm gonna put them here and we want to include probably this space. This is the altar altar, which I still need to uh, spiffy up a little bit. I've not really done anything to the, to the little altar altar, because uh, honestly, <laughs> I keep forgetting, but you know, it's fine. Honestly, it looks pretty nice just by itself because there's like some pretty flowers and our little axolotl here. I love my little axolotl, although I feel like I kind of um, neglect him. I'm sorry, axolotl. <laughs> I should build a house for for it at some point and then we can collect more. It seems like the biggest thing I, I always end up doing in this series is just building homes for other creatures, which is nice, I guess. You know, it's doing a good deed, even if sometimes it uh, requires a bit of force to, uh, you know, make them <laughs> agree to being adopted or whatever. But you know, like we, we took Alex and now she lives in a really nice house and uh, same with the Gorgia Gore girls and everything like that. So, you know, we're doing we're doing good in this world, even though it might be a little bit questionable sometimes. All right, so I'm going to probably... Um, we can cut it off, like... Er, actually, maybe to this tree. Then we can do this one. And we're gonna have, like, little uh, gates, like little archways of exits. So we can come in at multiple sides. I just need this place to be a bit more secure now that we have children. Okay, so now we can connect it to this one and that should make a full circle on this side at least of the house. Uh, we still have the other side. Um, yeah, so we can try... I don't know, it's gonna be a bit difficult on this part because we have like, you know, this open area which I don't want to close off. Ah! Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we can connect it here, perhaps? I, I think this could be a good call. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so we can put it here. And let's see, maybe maybe here. I hope this is going to look okay. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Um, so I hope you guys are having a good day. It's Saturday for me right now, but usually post these a little bit later. Um, I'm actually trying to set up a schedule for my videos because now that I have two series going on, I kind of want it to be a bit more organized for when I upload. So yeah, I'm not gonna, you know, spoil what the schedule is, but I guess you guys will find out soon enough. And yeah, so we'll see how it works. I might change it in the future, but I also have a really fun video planned. Oh, what? Peach, what are you doing all the way up there? Oh, I forgot about Muffin. I need to probably... Peach! Come down here. Peach, why is she all the way up there? How am I supposed to reach her? Oh, Peach, I swear to God. Don't make me dirt pillar all the way up there. I will dirt pillar all the way up there. You hear me? Come with me, come on. What are you doing up here? Okay, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I have a really awesome video. Uh, it's already ready. 
Uh, but I have it. Um, I wanted to post it a little bit later this week on Friday. So look out for an awesome little creative video on Friday. Um, I really enjoy making those kind of like just freestyle um, creative, creative videos. I want to start doing some more art videos soon. Um, I actually was working on an art video um, a few weeks ago, but I kind of... Um, I I scrap, scrapped it, honestly, because I just didn't like how it was... Uh, I didn't like the artwork, honestly. I didn't like how the artwork turned out, which really sucked because I worked so hard on it and I, I finished it and everything, but I was just like, man, this sucks. I don't like it. So I didn't want to post it. And also, I was just kind of struggling to record everything. So yeah, it was a bit of a mess, honestly. But, you know... Uh, next time I'll I'll do better and I think I actually have some pretty fun ideas planned for what I can do for art videos in the future um, Yeah, so look out for that in the future I want to make some art videos because I know that our channel or my channel it attracts a lot of artists Which is really awesome because of course I'm an artist so I want people to uh, subscribe who also are artists So yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome uh, especially when you guys post your art on the Discord, I'm just like, damn, this is so cool. Like, I love it. I love interacting with people who draw. Uh, or any any sort of art, honestly. But yeah, so I wanted to make some more art videos in the future. And I also, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I do have an art channel that I haven't posted on in a while. Because I was just kind of focusing on this channel for a bit, so I decided to give myself a break from the other one. But now I actually have some ideas for what I want to do with that channel that's a little bit more um, in-depth than what it was before. Because before I was just kind of posting whenever, you know, whatever I wanted. Of course, art-related, but still, it wasn't like the best type of videos I could have made. But now I kind of have a better idea of what I want to do. So I'm really excited. I, I want to start working on that um, channel in the future. Uh, but I, I still need to focus more on this one because, you know, it's kind of like my main. <laughs> it's my main channel. So I will, don't worry. Um, and you know what? We should probably place some torches because it's actually really dark in here. I think that might just be the shade or so, but still, you know, I'm gonna put a few torches. I actually like to put the torches on the trees. And this is like some weird... <laughs> it's like an amalgamation. Okay, so we're gonna, yeah, let's put some torches up on these. Oh, wait, you know what? Maybe I should wait. Because, actually, when we start doing our spell, spell work, um, I can use um, a spell to light up this place. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until we can do that. And let me actually... So I wanted to make sure that all the walls were... Oh, wait, we missed... No, this needs to be like this. So yeah, I wanted to make sure that all the walls on the outside were at least two blocks tall so no mobs can enter. But now on the inside, we can make it a little bit more... Uh, natural looking so we can actually we can probably just like climb up here you know just walk on out but yeah still I want to make it look a little bit more natural so we're gonna fix it and put some more here like that cute okay you know what maybe let's sleep first I don't want to I don't want to risk it but you know what I feel I feel a little bit safer now and this is still a lot of space. So, yeah, I guess this wall kind of marks where our actual house is. Oops. So, I can probably start decorating. I want to make some more homey rooms. Like, we can make, like, a living room or, like, a lounge area. I really want to make, um, like, a fire pit, you know, with, like, little logs for, for like, chairs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Muffin teleported and she scared me, dude. I thought I saw something. Okay, anyway. So yeah, I wanted to make like a fire pit area that can be kind of like the uh, the living room or the lounge room. We can make... Um, I don't know. What, what else should we add to our home that's actually kind of like home stuff? So you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think I should add to my house. Now that we have so much room, like all of this eventually needs to be turned into house. Um, but I'm really excited because I love decorating homes in Minecraft, especially this one because it's so unique. It's very much a natural house, um, which is the whole idea. I wanted it to be, I wanted to make my house basically as the forest. So yeah, I hope um, we can still keep that theme as we continue to decorate, but I still want to make it look a bit nicer and just more cozy and, and you know, make it feel more safe. Because right now it's definitely not super safe. That's the issue with having such an open house is that there are just creepy crawlies everywhere and they just come on out here out of nowhere and harass me 
and then my girls get attacked, which is not good. So yeah, we also need to do this side, which is going to be a bit, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know where to cut it off. Um, we have Alex's home here. We can at least start adding some walls around here. So I'm going to get rid of this melon. Alright, so let me do another wall to this tree. Like that. Um, okay, and then we can add a little bit more here. Oh my god, Peach. Where is Spook, by the way? Oh, she's still over here. Um, let me put these girls back in the village. I don't want them to follow me right now. I feel like we, we can handle ourselves without them for now. As long as we don't let nightfall come. But... Maybe we should put Muffin inside, because she was running around with us the entire episode last last episode. Where is Peach? I mean, Spook. Hello? Spook! Where'd she go? Where's Spook? Oh, what? There you are. Oh my gosh. Come with me. Okay, so who should we take today? Maybe we can take... Sparkle. I'm kind of feeling like Sparkle should come with us. Okay. Hello, Sparkle! Oh my god, can I just mention how good Sparkle looks in the shader pack compared to Sildur's? Oh my god, there you go, Spook. I don't know why she was still following me. Um, Sparkle looks a lot better in this in this pack. Okay, why? Muffin, come in here, come on! Come on, girl! Come inside. Yep, come on. Come on! Okay, wait. Put you there. Don't move! Don't move! Get! Get! Get in there! Get in there! Good muffin. Okay. Now you're safe. Okay, let's take Sparkle. Uh, I think she's already following us. Where is she? Sparkle! Oh, there you are! See, she looks- Whoa! Do you see that? Oh my god. She looks so good in this shader pack. Very nice and green on the on the top of her head. So pretty. Oh my god, they're so gorgeous. Like, wow. Okay, anyway, let's continue working on the leaf. The leaf wall, which we're actually almost out of leaves. Alright, so where was it? Okay, right here. So yeah, we can, uh, you know what? We can just leave it maybe here for now. We can work on this later, but I feel like this is probably going to be a good start uh, for the safety it's, it's definitely going to make a difference. It makes it a bit harder for mobs to enter. Um, at least they'll have less ways to enter. So yeah, and actually it blends in really well. Like, you honestly can't see it very much. Unless you're, like, at the border already. Um, but whoa, this is, like, super, <laughs> super vibrant. Wow. I'm just so impressed. This is so cool. Okay, so we can start working on our magic room now. I probably should empty out my inventory... So, let's see. What do we want to make? Um, maybe we can use these spring planks as, like, a platform or something. Oh, yeah, we need, um, stuff for the pathway, so I'm gonna use mossy cobblestone and cobblestone. Um, let's see. We can use... Oh, you know what? Let's plant a green tree. We can use some moss. Um, some azalea, perhaps. Um, vines would be nice. I can try to duplicate some later, but we need some bone meal. Okay, so let me grab this. Alright, let's start with that for now, and we can try to make, like, some sort of platform with the spring planks. Okay, so, I'm excited! Come on, Sparkle, where are you? There you are! Okay, Sparkle is gonna be the perfect person to come with us today, because she's quite magical looking. Like, she's literally from another dimension, and, you know, she's just so glorious and glowing, and I love her. So we're gonna take her and do some magic. I am so excited! Oh my gosh, I love Arch Nouveau. I don't know anything about it, basically. I just know how to do some of the spells. Um, but let me make a... Uh... Oh, hi, chicken! Alright, let me play. Let me place it on my crafting table, and we can make ourselves a shovel, because I don't know what happened to my old one. Must have broke. Okay, and we should also... You know what we can do? We can make a little, like, sleeping area over here if we need to stay... Well... <laughs> I like how this is the only thing in the chest. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, we should probably make a bed here and have, like, a little mini mini bedroom in case we need to stay here overnight because we probably will. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Ah, I love it. Okay, so, oh, look! Two dryads and this one is the, uh, 
the yellow one, which I love the yellow ones because they have beautiful eyes. You're so pretty. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> um, I hope lots of dryads come and visit us here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make some sort of stone circle um, as kind of like the the middle of our magic area. So it's gonna be, I kind of want to, I don't know. I kind of want it to be like an altar um, sort of thing. I'm not really sure. I guess this is just something we're gonna have to kind of figure out over time and work on it. Wow, look at how bright she is. Ah, 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 oh my God. Jesus Christ, these stupid berries, they always scare me. Okay, um, so I'm gonna try to make some sort of stone, stone thing. Uh, let me place some little thingies. I don't really know. We're, we're gonna figure it out over time, but for now, I'm just gonna make a little thing. Yeah, looks good enough. Um, and then we can make one... Should we make it kind of like around this tree? This is kind of like, I don't know, special tree. Some sort. Okay, so I'm gonna make another one here. Hello, sparkle. All right. So, uh, let's see. That works. Okay, I'm not gonna be too picky about it. All right, let me make a few more of these. One cool thing about this shader pack is the uh, the handheld lighting actually works, which for some reason it's not working with soldiers or like any other shader pack I tried, but it works with this one, which is pretty nice because I've been kind of missing that feature, especially because it gets so dark here um, when it rains and at nighttime. Okay, so this is um, my circle for now. It's quite big, which is good because we're probably gonna need a lot of space. Um, but yeah, so, and then we can make a little middle area with should we make it out of- you know what, yeah, I'll use this- I'll use the spring tree planks and I'm gonna place the spring tree right here. And in the middle, we're gonna just dig out a little circle where we can kind of put our stuff, our magic stuff. So we're gonna make it around this tree. Okay, so this is looking really pretty. Um, we're also gonna add a little bit of moss around. Okay, so let's put one here. The moss is really like quite a different color compared to the, uh... wow, it got dark. Okay, wait, hold on. We need to, we need to sleep. Let me get on my sleeping bag. We can probably make a, an actual bed in a second. Um, maybe we can make like a hobbit hole. That'd be kind of cute for the, uh, for the, what's it called, the bedroom. Okay, so it's a shame we can't place down these torch berries. At least I don't think we can. But anyway, let me place some more of this moss. Yeah, I was saying it, it's quite a different color than the, uh, twi um, not the twilight forest, the, the magical forest. And let's see, are we gonna see a rainbow because it rained? Ow, ow. <gasps> rainbow! Oh my gosh, wait, look at how pretty. Oh my god, wait. That is so gorgeous. The sparkle in the foreground. Hello, sparkle. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my god, I love the shader pack. I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of it. Okay, so we have our little area. Um, what else can we add? We can add some azaleas. Probably gonna place them um, behind the stones. We still need our spring tree to grow. I hope it grows here. I'm not sure if it has enough space. Maybe we can move it a little bit. Let's try to put it 
be here. Okay, so let's grow an azalea here. Ooh, yay! Awesome. And we can grow one on the other side. I'm not going to grow any um, around the water, just so we don't block the view. We can grow another one there. Awesome. It adds a nice little bit of warmth to the place. Uh, we can also put one maybe... Uh, Maybe here, like, on top of the, uh... Oh no! Does it not grow? Come on! Come on! Yes! Okay. It kind of grew in the wrong way, but, you know, we can just... Fix it up a little bit. Add a bit of, uh, extra leaves. Okay, there we go. Oh, you know what would be awesome? If we put some vines here, this is gonna be, like, super nice and hidden. Oh, we also need to kind of fix up this area. I'm not really sure what to put here yet, but this could be kind of like our twilight forest station i don't really know maybe i don't know what what can we add there who knows we'll figure it out but anyway okay so let me put down these himalayan blue poppies oh we can definitely add some flowers around the circle actually that'd be really pretty the, the stone circle okay so i love the light that like shines through here oh my god okay so let's make we need to make a scribe table i believe it's called yes Okay, so we need arch wood, which we get from the, you know, the little trees from the mod. So there is one that's, like, over on the hill. On the hill of our little field outside. So let's go try to cut it down. And we can get some arch wood. And then we need, I think, what was it? Like, iron, gold nuggets. Okay, that will not be a problem. So as you can see, it's, like, right over there. This little blue tree. Um... I'm considering if I should maybe cut down one that's a little bit farther away from our house. Just so we don't kind of ruin the uh, natural beauty. So maybe we'll do that. There's these uh, rainbow forests that we've probably come across a few times in this series. But those are going to be really important for us to find at some point. Especially for the archwood because there's going to be a lot of archwood trees. But let's see if we find another one nearby. Whoa! This is so cool. It has a nice fog effect. Oh, I heard a cat. Oh, hi, kitty. I, I remember seeing you around here before a few episodes ago. Okay, so um, I just realized once our once Eric and Grover grows up into adults, they're going to have to have a house. So we're going to have to make them an actual house uh, when they're when they're older. But yeah, I guess one one of the things we need to add to our house for the meantime is actually some bedrooms for them so i'm not really sure how we can do that since everything is so open okay so check this out there's another archwood tree right here so we can cut this down <gasps> it's a valkyrie look so valkyries are interesting because they only start aggroing at you when you stand near them for too long so i'm just gonna try to keep my distance because uh she's kind of dangerous <laughs> so Let's just uh, stay over here. Cut this down. There we go. Oh, and we can actually re replant them. So I don't know why I just didn't think of doing that. Okay, let me collect all of these saplings. And I'll replant it. And we can also plant another one back at home. Oh, oh, keep your distance. I ain't trying to start no beef with you, Mr. I mean, Mrs. Valkyrie. <laughs> they kind of remind me of Mercy from Overwatch. Oh my god. I'm forcing myself to take a break from playing Overwatch. Um, but I really miss it. I love Overwatch. Whoa! Emerald. Uh, besides Minecraft, it's like one of my favorite games. <laughs> so, it's a little bit painful to go without it, but... It's kind of for my own good, because uh, I feel like I was playing it way too much. And also just not really <laughs> enjoying it as much as I probably should be. It's a, It's a very frustrating game sometimes, so... I still love it though, I love the characters, I love the story, and even if Blizzard ruins Overwatch, um, I'll never stop loving the actual like story of Overwatch. So yeah, I'm just admiring the game from afar at the moment, but I'll probably, I'll probably uh, reinstall it at some point later. Just give myself a little break, because it's important to, uh, to give yourself some boundaries sometimes, especially with things that are not the most productive, like playing a very, very frustrating video game. At least Minecraft is, you know, it's fun. It's creative, relaxing, and not always super stressful, just sometimes. But usually you can always avoid it if you really want to, which is what I like about the game. It's very flexible for every type of player. 
but yeah so hopefully this path is where we can find the the stone circle because i get kind of lost in this forest but i think we're gonna be fine okay so here we are i love how it kind of just like it's a very secret entrance which is pretty awesome okay so i'm also gonna make myself a chest so we're gonna need to place some stuff down Okay, and we need a place for the scribing table. I'm not really sure. Okay, so let's just make it for now. Um, I actually need gold. No, I don't have any. Okay, we gotta go back. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what we're going to do for all of the placements of like all of the blocks we need to make. Um, because we, we need to make different things. But I don't know, we can always change it later. So this is kind of just the beginning. We're not really figured out a whole plan yet, but I kind of want there to be like a, a workstation, but it needs to look nice. It needs to look pretty. And you know, it needs to match the theme of the place. So, you know one thing I actually want to make? I want to make a wind chime too. We can make a wind chime really quick. Uh, so we need slab, chain, and iron. We have a chain here. Okay, there we go. We have a wind chime. And let's... <laughs> that scared me. Okay, so we need gold. Alright, here we go. We have a scribing table. So it looks pretty awesome. Um, we're going to... I don't know. Let's see. I think what I might do... Is... I think I have like a vague idea of what I want to do. Oh, well, let's go back. The main issue is I want everything to look natural and magical to keep with the theme, obviously. So what I want to do is maybe make some sort of like little little uh, thing out of the spring wood. And let me put down this vine just so we can start growing some. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is make kind of like a little thing around the tree here. And oh, can you move Sparkle? Come on. So what we're going to do is kind of like layer everything on top of each other. Ah! Okay. So we're going to have our chest here. Oh my god, Sparkle, you keep standing in my way, girl. Alright, so... <laughs> she giggled at a perfect time. Okay, so yeah, anyway, we're going to put maybe like the crafting table here. And we can make like a little another thing on top of it here. And let me sleep. It gets so dark. And now we can place down our scribing table, so I think I'm gonna put it um in the back. Right? Uh Sparkle! Get out of my way! <laughs> We're gonna put it here. Oh no! Oh my god! Sparkle! I swear to god! <laughs> I swear to god, Sparkle! Stay back! This is dangerous! Stay! Jeez. Okay, so that did not work. Hold on. Why are you don't do that. Stop. Place this way. Damn it. No! Is it, like, locked behind one direction? What? What? What is the meaning of this? Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me put it like this. There we go. Okay, so now... <laughs> okay, this is a little bit too high, I think. Um, Let me try to bring it down one bit. We can put it right here. There we go. I like that. So then we can also... This is kind of in the way. So what we can do is, um, we can place some slabs here, like right there. So let me go, uh, back to the crafting table, and this kind of is, it's a little weird, but I kind of wanted to, uh, go for something like, you kind of have to, like, climb, I, I don't really know how to describe what I'm trying to go for here, but, you know, it's supposed to look a bit more natural. Um, but anyway, let's, let's do this. So, what we need to do is get our spell book click on the table and now we have glyphs right so we can make different spells so what i'm gonna do and some of these are already unlocked but some of them you need to craft them kind of so what it requires is like you need to drop these items on top of the scribes table and then it'll give you it'll unlock these glyphs for you so the first one is going to be I wanted to do the light one first because I kind of want to use it. So we're going to have to do this one, Conjure Mage Light. Okay, so we're going to need some iron nuggets, 
which we have a lot at home, so I'm actually gonna just go on over there. Okay, I'm back with some iron nuggets. So, uh, we need to make ourselves a lantern. So, there we go. And now, um, we should be able to craft this uh, conjure mage light with a torch and the lantern. So, we're gonna throw it over here. Uh, let me try this again. <laughs> we're gonna throw it over here. Oh wait, maybe I have to select- Oh! Oh! Okay, there, there we go. Now it's working, see? And now we have our glyph. Yay! So I'm gonna break this. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up, but I'm gonna replace it here. And now we have this... Er, why does it say we haven't unlocked it? There we go! Unlocked. Okay, I just need to right-click it. Okay, totally forgot already, but anyway, we're going to do, um, wait. So, I think that, how do we make a new spell? Let me just, okay. So we're gonna do projectile, conjure, mi wait, projectile, oh, wait, ah, I was using the wrong interface. Hold on, so I need to do it in the spell book. I was like, I was, I remember there being some sort of tabs here. Okay, so anyway, I figured it out. I had to use my spell book. So we're going to craft a spell. So we're going to do projectile, conjure mage light, and name it. So this is going to be mage light, I suppose, and create. Okay, and now we can also use a color. I'm going to do purple. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the spell selected and we right click, it should shoot out a little projectile. <gasps> there it is! So this mage light is pretty much like a torch and you can break it and then replace it like this. And it's awesome because you can do it from far away so we can just <laughs> light up the place. So I'm gonna put these around our base. And it looks so perfectly magical inside of this, you know, our little magic area. I'm not really sure what to name this place just yet, but I'm really excited. This is just so cool. So I'm going to place them on all of our little trees here. Um, and the mushrooms. Make everything nice and bright. So that took me way too long to figure out. I was like, I am definitely missing something. I was trying to like... <laughs> I don't even know, but I need to replace this because I was doing something stupid on there. Okay, so it uses up some mana. As you can see, we do have a mana bar at the bottom. But I'm not using up that much at the moment because I'm not doing anything in rapid succession. Succession. <laughs> but yeah, so this is really freaking awesome. And I'm just so excited. We can also try to make another spell. So what I'm going to do is make an attack spell. So let's go to spell 2. And we can do projectile and harm. And we're going to call this attack. And we can also do a color. I'm going to do rainbow. And we can do create. Alright, so we can try this out, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous on... Oh, spider, here. So look, now we're attacking him. And he, he should die. Oh, what? Why do you have particles? What is this? That is not fair, and I ran out of mana. Okay, let me try this again. I don't know why that sp uh, spider had some weird effect. Uh, okay, zombie. No, wait, what? This is not working. What is going on? I'm giving them some sort of effect. Oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> oh, no! I was using- Okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm being stupid. I was still on my mage light. I, I forgot to toggle to the new spell. Okay, let me go to that spider over there. I'm gonna hold my torch so you guys can see. Okay, so come on, spider. Oh no! Oh no, Spriggan, 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 no! Oh no. Okay, wait. Um, Invalid spell. Wait, hold on. What is going on? Why is it not... What did I do? Where's my spell? Oh no, wait, hold on. Uh, projectile! Projectile, harm, uh, uh, attack, attack, great, great, there we go, okay, ah, no, wait, don't drown, don't drown, 
Oh, there it is. Now, now it works. Okay, see, this, this is what, this is what I was trying to do. Okay, so let's try to kill her. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to because I don't really know how much damage this does. I'm gonna have to make an amplifier, um, but I'm just gonna finish her off with some arrows. But it should work. Um, it should do uh, more damage because it is a projectile, and my origin, my wood elf origin says that. Projectiles do more damage for me, so hopefully it counts. All right, let's try to kill the spider. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. It's like the spell didn't save or something. But anyway, look at that. It killed the spider in like, what was it? Three or four hits? Pretty freaking cool. Um, I think it looks awesome, especially. And look at that. Look at our tower. Wow, so pretty. Okay, so um, let me see what else can we kill. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Um... Oh, is that another spider? Okay. And I noticed, wait, so if I use, um... Oh my god, wait. So if I use... Uh, my mage light on a mob... It's gonna, like, make them glow or something? Which is kind of interesting. Okay, I did not want that creeper to blow up. Did not see you, Mr. Creeper. That was not cool, sneaking up on me like that. Um, let me try again with one more mob, and then we can go back home and try to sleep. Uh, any mobs? Oh, what is that? No, that's just Sparkle. <laughs> okay, we have to be careful not to not to accidentally hit Sparkle. Um, but you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go home. Um, I'm gonna work on this room a little bit more, maybe off camera or just next episode. But yeah, we got the basics down, so this is how we make spells, and I'm excited to make some more. Um, this is so cool! I love this mod. So let's actually go to our, um, wait, our mage light, and we can light up, light up these trees. We can start replacing these torches with some, oh, wait, with some mage lights. So pretty! Oh! Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Wait. Eh. Eh. Okay. Ugh. I need to get used to switching to the right spell. Okay, let me try to kill this guy. Oh, look at that. Look at those shots. There we go. Okay, so it actually does pretty decent damage uh, without a multiplier even. So I wanted to add um, the amplify, but we can do that next time. Okay, so let me place some um, mage lights around our house. Make it all nice and bright. You can get rid of this torch and put one here. There we go. So it's pretty bright and we can also um, we can add an, um, an amplify that'll make it even brighter. Which is awesome! So excited to make more spells. There's some really OP ones, I know that. Um, but we're just gonna start small. Okay, so uh, let me check on the kids. Wow, I can't believe I actually have kids now that I adopted. I still need to find myself a partner! I need to go find myself someone to marry! <gasps> Whoa! They're older! Oh my god, they're like teenagers now. Oh my god, Eric's hoodie is so cute. Oh. He's like a little animal. It's so adorable. Okay, and Grover, I like your hoodie too. Don't worry. You got a nice little creeper face. Um, okay, let me talk to them. Let's- oh, wait. I didn't want to talk about rumors. Hello? Okay, guys, I had to reload my game, and it spawned me right next to the creeper, which blew up. Seriously? Come on. That is not- not cool! Um, I don't know what happened. My game just, like, um, froze. Like, I couldn't- I couldn't, like, dish I don't know. It was weird. It was some weird, weird little bug. Um, but it rolled me back, I guess, a minute or so. So I need to- <laughs> Oh, man, that- that's so stupid. Okay, let me, um, let me put a mage light over there. It's quite dark. There we go. That's better. Okay, so did it- did it reset all of my torches or all my mage lights? I think it must have. Oh, wait! It didn't. That's weird. What? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? Maybe I will save talking to my kids for another day, so I don't accidentally <laughs> crash my game again. Um, I hope you guys are not broken. I bet you guys thought we were going to do an outro, but actually I'm interrupting my outro because I wanted to do... Oh no. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore her. I wanted to do a quick little segment where we work on the stone circle area, the magic place, which I need a name for. I want it to have like some sort of fancy name. So if you guys have any suggestions for what this place should be called, let me know. 
in the comments. But yeah, so I wanted to just do a little quick building segment to decorate this place. So before I started the recording, I went ahead and gathered some materials that we can use to decorate. The first one being is that flower circle I mentioned earlier. So I gathered a few flowers and I'm going to just place them around the um, the stones so we can have some nice colors and also I don't know I just kind of like making flower circles because they feel like um, some sort of magical energy so I have a few more in here as well as some other pretty interesting blocks I made some stuff from from the cluttered mod of course I tried to <laughs> look into the other um, decoration mod that I have but I kind of prefer cluttered I think it's probably the best one out of all of them but yeah, so, um, let me place down- I also got these cool mushrooms, which I don't remember where I got them, but they were sitting in my nether chest. So maybe we got them from the nether, who knows, I don't really remember. Oh no! Stay away! You foul beast! Oh no! Oh my god, wait. She's not- she's not attacking Sparkle. Okay, that was good. Oh, that scared me! Okay. I'm not too worried about the girls anymore because I know they will respawn if they die, but still, it's not its not fun. Okay, so um, let me place the rest of these mushrooms. Um, we can also place some maybe up here. Oh yeah, see, our vines are growing a little bit, so. Okay, I also got a few more vines, so I'm going to place some around here. And we can watch them grow and kind of seclude our little twilight forest area. I'm gonna put some on this tree as well. And maybe around this mushroom. And on this tree. Perhaps over here. Okay, I think that should be enough for now. Maybe we can put one like here. Okay, so these vines will grow over time. And now I got this pretty cool cabinet. So it's quite big. So I wanted to have some sort of storage area. And I'm thinking maybe we can have it... No, I don't think I want to put it up there. Because I don't want to go to the Twilight Forest portal every time I need to get something. So I'm probably going to put it... Um, Actually, we can put it here. This is maybe where the Hobbit Hole will be. Or maybe the hobbit hole would be here. So yeah, I'm not going to make the hobbit hole just yet. So I think we're going to just dig out a little room here and put the storage. Like that. Okay, so I dug out a little bit more. We can move this... Uh, we'll put it here for now, and we can fill this place up with some more stuff. So if you go down to this corner, you can access the inventory. Um, so I also forgot to put up my wind chimes, and I also made an amethyst one. So I'm gonna put the amethyst one over here. It's quite quiet though. That's why I like the iron one, because it's like the loudest. Uh, we can put the iron one over here. And I'll put some more vines, why not? Oh! Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god! Sparkle just died! Okay, you know what? It's fine. She's gonna de she's gonna respawn when um, I think the next morning will come. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, I just hope it works because uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mourn her because I, I believe she's coming back. Anyway, that that kind of sucks. I'm sorry, Sparkle. I probably should have put her away because she, she took so much damage already, but... <sighs> oh well, okay. She'll be back. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna place... Um... Oh, this is grass. Okay, I'm gonna put um, a little shroom light maybe in here, and then we can cover it up with some leaves like that. So yeah, I also brought some jack uh, hakaranda. Uh, so we can maybe put some... I'm not really sure where... Maybe we can frame it a little entryway like this. And we can also put some slabs down here. Something like this.
I just kind of want it to like wrap around the entry so at least it's a little bit more clear where it's gonna be even though it's supposed to be a secret we still needed to we still needed to stand out just a teensy bit for us so we do have these slabs so I'm gonna just go ahead and place them oh my god why are there so many of these stupid manjigoras can you just leave me alone for frick's sake okay anyway All right, so now we have our little entrance. And we'll have to make one up here too. Okay, so let me put some stuff away. This gold I took, um, so we can put it, um, where is it? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I put this, I took this gold so I can put it away in here, because we do need some gold for the mod. Um, I'm also going to put some green leaves over here. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. I like this. This is so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, so we also have these moon strings, which is made with glowstone, uh, glowstone dust and glass panes. Super easy to make and very pretty. Well, I guess it's not easy if you're uh, early game, but I already went to the nether, luckily. So I'm gonna place these around the entrance. Make it look all pretty. Ah, oh, it's so cool! Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love it! Wow, that's so pretty. Okay. And we can also put some... You know, I'm gonna actually- I think I missed putting vines down here, so I'm gonna cover this place up. Some more vines. There we go. And we also have some lanterns, so I'm gonna place some more for just extra light and looks, because we do already have these pretty mage lights, but I still want to light it up a little bit more. So I'm going to put some on the mushrooms. There we go. Also, I just wanted to show you guys, look how pretty this is. Wow! It's like a shooting star! And it's rainbow. So cool! Ah! I love it! It's so pretty. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to add was a few of these shroom lights, and I think I'm going to put them um, next to our stones, and we can cover them up with some sli I mean, carpet. So I'm going to actually just take this carpet, and we're going to move it over to the stones. Okay, there we go. So that is all of the extra decorations that I had with me. So yeah, we're going to continue working on this um, over time and add more color and beauty to it. But yeah, I think this place looks actually super amazing so far. It's so cozy. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little building section and let's get on with the actual outro. I think it was a pretty eventful episode. We are officially turning into mages. Finally! We have our spells finally getting worked on, and some new kids, which is pretty interesting. So maybe soon we're gonna have to try to find a partner so we can raise these children together. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with some better graphics and more high quality, and some pretty exciting and awesome additions to the world. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this in the future, and I will see you all later. Bye!